Welcome to Animation Insight. Please like, share and subscribe. Seven Wonders of the Industrial World 1. SS Great Eastern was an iron sailing steamship designed by Isambard Kingdom Brunel and built by J. Scott Russell and Company at Millwall Iron Works on the River Thames, London. It was by far the largest ship ever built at the time of her 1858 launch and had the capacity to carry 4,000 passengers from England to Australia without refueling. Its 4,000 passenger capacity was surpassed in 1913 by the 4,935 passenger in SS Imperator. The ship's five funnels were rare and were later reduced to four. The vessel also had the largest set of paddle wheels. 2. Bell Rock Lighthouse The Bell Rock Lighthouse, off the coast of Angus, Scotland, is the world's oldest surviving sea-washed lighthouse. It was built between 1807 and 1810 by Robert Stevenson on the Bell Rock, also known as Inch Cape, in the North Sea, 11 miles east of the Firth of Tay. Standing 35 meters tall, its light is visible from 35 statute miles inland. The masonry work on which the lighthouse rests was constructed to such a high standard that it has not been replaced or adapted in 200 years. The lamps and reflectors were replaced in 1843 and used in the lighthouse at Cape Bonavista, Newfoundland, where they are currently on display. The working of the lighthouse has been automated since 1988. 3. Brooklyn Bridge Brooklyn Bridge is a hybrid cable-stayed slash suspension bridge in New York City, spanning the East River between Manhattan Island and Brooklyn on Long Island. Opened on May 24, 1883, the Brooklyn Bridge was the first fixed crossing of the East River. It was also the longest suspension bridge in the world at the time of its opening, with a main span of 1,595.5 feet and a deck 127 feet above mean high water. The span was originally called the New York and Brooklyn Bridge, or the East River Bridge, but was officially renamed the Brooklyn Bridge in 1915. 4. London Sewerage System The London sewerage system is part of the water infrastructure serving London, England. The modern system was developed during the late 19th century, and as London has grown the system has been expanded. It is currently owned and operated by Thames Water and serves almost all of Greater London. 5. First Transcontinental Railroad North America's first transcontinental railroad known originally as the Pacific Railroad and later as the Overland Route was a 1,912 miles continuous railroad line constructed between 1863 and 1869 that connected the existing Eastern U.S. Rail Network at Council Bluffs, Iowa, with the Pacific Coast at the Oakland Long Wharf on San Francisco Bay. The rail line was built by three private companies over public lands provided by extensive U.S. land grants. Construction was financed by both state and U.S. government subsidy bonds, as well as by company-issued mortgage bonds. The Western Pacific Railroad Company built 132 miles of track from the road's western terminus at Alameda-Oakland to Sacramento, California. The Central Pacific Railroad Company of California constructed 690 miles eastward from Sacramento to Promontory Summit, Utah Territory. The Union Pacific Railroad built 1,085 miles from the road's eastern terminus at the Missouri River settlements of Council Bluffs and Omaha, Nebraska westward to Promontory Summit. 6. Panama Canal The Panama Canal is an artificial 82 km waterway in Panama that connects the Atlantic Ocean with the Pacific Ocean. The canal cuts across the Isthmus of Panama and is a conduit for maritime trade. One of the largest and most difficult engineering projects ever undertaken, the Panama Canal shortcut greatly reduces the time for ships to travel between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, enabling them to avoid the lengthy, 
hazardous Cape Horn route around the southernmost tip of South America via the Drake Passage or Strait of Magellan and the even less popular route through the Arctic Archipelago and the Bering Strait. Seven, Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam is a concrete arch gravity dam in the Black Canyon of the Colorado River, on the border between the U.S. states of Nevada and Arizona. It was constructed between 1931 and 1936 during the Great Depression and was dedicated on September 30, 1935, by President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Its construction was the result of a massive effort involving thousands of workers and cost over 100 lives. Originally known as Boulder Dam from 1933, it was officially renamed Hoover Dam for President Herbert Hoover by a joint resolution of Congress in 1947.